जय श्री राम वी आर पिकिंग अप ऑन द हाउ सनातनी आर यू क्वेश्चन एयर दैट इज द सनातनी मीटर और द हिंदू मीटर सो हियर आई थिंक दिस इज द थर्ड ट्रैक द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर यू इज आर यू सुपरस्टिशियस वॉट आर द सुपरस्टिशियस यू बिलीव इन ऑनेस्टली डू यू बिलीव इन फार्मिस्ट्री एस्ट्रोलॉजी हॉरोस्कोप Uh, do you believe in gemstones lucky numbers uh, lucky colors <laughs> now you must be thinking i do believe but i'm asking these questions well i strongly believe that if it is a harmless superstition it is worth it uh, a harmless where you are not spending any money you're not staking anything right it's a harmless mm-hmm. superstition if you go to the temple and get a kavach the priest will tie a string and that's called the kavach or the hama now you may give 10 rupees or 50 rupees to the priest and you get a strong feeling that you are under the protection of hanuman ji or shri rama so that strength that confidence makes a big difference in life because without confidence nothing can be achieved so how superstitious are you was the question anyway i am trying to tell you that it's okay to be superstitious if the superstition does not cost you any money or if it costs you very little money so if you are superstitious and if you believe in all these things whatever things you believe you get a big zero because life is too short for superstitions if we were to live for 200 years then we can have all these things we don't know 50 years 60 years i've already 60 you know in the mahabharata yaksha prashnas 124 yaksha prashnas were asked of yudhishthira and the most interesting question in my opinion was when the yaksha asked yudhishthira what is the most astonishing thing in the world and yudhishthira said every minute people mm. die but the others think that they still have lot of time <laughs> which is what is very astonishing i think uh, the deeper meaning is very simple every minute young people die old people die eh? uh, children die but the others who see this death eh, seem to think that they have a long lifeline and they don't know they could be the next so all these superstitions are meaningless you have very little time be dharmic study bhagavad gita and say jai shri ram and get into the work because you are doing good work there is no need to be worried <laughs> of course for major things in life like marriage muhurtams are necessary so let us leave it there get rid of all your superstitions once superstitions enter your brain it's all over you are dead <laughs> you are finished yeah? i consider like a number my number 13 my lucky number okay it's a christian uh, superstition number 13 in hotels you won't find floor number 13 you won't find room number 13 but 13 what harm has this 13 done so therefore i have on behalf of all mankind i apologize to number 13 and i have accepted number 13 as my lucky number jai shri ram mm. so next question for you is do you have a strong need to be popular famous a passion a strong desire to be famous well <laughs> you guessed right i have uh, that is very rajasic action sri rama said in the muktikopanishad when he was talking to hanuman ji there are three things you need to get rid of uh, they are loka vasana shastra vasana deha vasana now loka vasana is the need to be praised social approval the need to be famous the need to become a celebrity to be honored and respected <laughs> rama said you need to get rid of this uh, the second one rama said was shastra vasana which means you know reading lot of books and then beginning to feel puffed up that you know so much and you are very knowledgeable so that is also bad you should get rid of that not that you should not read books okay and sahajam kar now what did what did krishna say in the bhagavad gita uh, श्रेयान द्रव्यमयाद्य ज्ञान ज्ञानयज्ञ परंतपा सर्व कर्माखिल पार्थ ज्ञाने परिसम्यते 
मेक ए नोट श्रेयान द्रव्यमयाज्ञ ज्ञान यज्ञ परंतप सर्व कर्माखिल पार्थ ज्ञाने पर सामप्यते दट मीन्स ऑफ ऑल कैंड ऑफ यज्ञ द वर्ड सैक्रिफाइस इज द वर्स्ट कैंड ऑफ वर्ड यू कैन यूज फॉर यज्ञ बिकॉज द वर्ड सैक्रिफाइस इंप्लाइज द कटिंग ऑफ समबडी इज नेक इन हिंदुइजम देर इज नो स्लिटिंग नेक्स एंड ऑल दैट ओके सो डोंट यूज द वर्ड सैक्रिफाइस फॉर यज्ञ Use the word yagna for yagna. It is an untranslatable. So, dravya yagna. Actually, dravya yagna is a very interesting phrase. It has many meanings. Dravya yagna basically means <coughs> spending your time in order to earn money. <coughs> Because if you don't have money, you can't do any dharma. And if you don't have money, you can't be strong. And the strong <coughs> and the weak can never defend dharma. Now, vidya dadati vinayam vinayam dadati. विनयाद्याति पात्रत्व पात्रत्वा धनम आपनोति धना धर्म तथा सुखम विच मीन्स विद्या ददाति विनय इफ यू आर ट्रूली नॉलेजबल यू विल बिकम हम्बल विनयाद्याति पात्रत्व वेन यू बिकम हम्बल यू आर वेरी अनअस्यूमिंग यू पोजेस दिस ह्यूमिलिटी देन यू विल डेवलप योर कैरेक्टर पात्रत्वा धनम आपनोति इफ यू आर अ मैन ऑफ कैरेक्टर द होल वर्ल्ड विल ट्रस्ट यू यू विल अर्न लॉट ऑफ मनी यू विल एक्वायर लॉट ऑफ वेल्थ धना धर्म वेन यू हैव लॉट ऑफ मनी यू कैन डू धार्मिक एक्टिविटीज धना धर्म तत सुखम दैट इज हाउ हैपीनेस कैन बी अर्न सो वेरी सिंपल इक्वेशन विद्या ददा विनय विनयाद्याति पात्रत्व पात्रत्वा धनम आपनोति धना धर्म तत सुखम सो नव एनी वे वॉट वॉज रामा सेंग शास्त्र वासना ही अर इन दट श्लोक इन द भगवदगी श्लोक कृष्ण इज सेंग श्रेयान द्रव्यमयाज्ञ ज्ञान यज्ञ परंतप सर्व कर्माखिल पार्थ ज्ञाने परी सप्य है ऑल एक्टिविटी अल्टिमेटली लीड्स टू नॉलेज कृष्ण इज एक्चुअली सेंग दैट इवन इफ यू डोंट रीड एनी बुक ओवर सो मेनी जन्म इनकारनेशन you will go on learning and eventually all human beings will acquire knowledge and join krishna hmm? dance with krishna <laughs> in the sahasra that vedic uh, mantra i told you dwa suparna two words so krishna is actually saying of all kinds of yajnas the best yajna is gnana yajna what is gnana yajna studying the bhagavad gita acquiring gnana understanding who we are what is our constitutional position with respect to shri krishna we are eternal companions of shri krishna and actually eternal servants of shri krishna right so understanding this much is knowledge understanding also that the world is not real though it appears to be real and once you are on this plane you have to treat it as real it's not an illusion by the way though if you go into quantum mechanics they talk about holographic universe parallel universe all concepts are there so rama is saying shastra vasana is bad and don't uh, become very arrogant sim- simply because you have read lot of books hmm? uh, mere book reading is not sufficient for example you may read lot of books on cooking but if you have never gone into the kitchen you can't cook a dish <laughs> it's not possible you can't become a doctor by simply reading reading lot of books on medicine right so shastra vasana is bad and then deha vasana Rama says, "Deha vasana means obsession for the body. You know, people take lot of pain to beautify the body, but they never beautify their soul. Are you beautifying your soul? Ah, I think we can add this as a question. Are you beautifying your soul? Then you will gaze at me and say, <laughs> 'What the hell is that? How do I beautify my soul?' Well, my dear friend." to beautify your soul you must become a true hindu love the whole mankind as your family ah but uh, when a snake uh, when a viper poisonous viper enters your house what do you have to do you can't love that fellow no you have to kill him if you are capable of capturing him then that fellow has to be put in the zoo if you are not able to capture then you have to kill you can't uh, you know do anything else other than that if you are mistakenly thinking that uh, you have to show ahimsa <laughs> then 
గాడ్ కవ్ నో బడి కెన్ సేవ్ యూ సో దేహవాసన శాస్త్రవాసన లోకవాసన రామా ఈ సేయింగ్ యూ షుడ్ గెట్ రెడ్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ బట్ ఇఫ్ యూ ఆర్ డిజైరస్ ఆఫ్ బికమింగ్ ఫేమస్ బట్ విత్ ఎ ధార్మిక ఇంటెన్షన్ ఆఫ్ స్ప్రెడింగ్ హిందూ ధర్మ ఎస్టాబ్లిషింగ్ రామరాజ్య దెన్ ఐ థింక్ యు ఆర్ ఫుల్లీ జస్టిఫైడ్ యూ విల్ గెట్ టెన్ పాయింట్స్ అదర్వైజ్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ రాజసిక్ అండ్ యూఆర్ కంట్రిబ్యూటింగ్ సమ్ టు సమ్ ఎకనామిక్ డెవలప్మెంట్ దట్స్ ఆల్సో గుడ్ ఐ థింక్ వీ విల్ గివ్ యూ టెన్ పాయింట్స్ ఫర్ దట్ ఆల్సో ఓకే సో లెట్ అస్ లీవ్ ఇట్ దర్ నెక్స్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద ఫస్ట్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ యూ సీ యాజ్ సూన్ యాజ్ యూ గెట్ అప్ ఇన్ ద మార్నింగ్ యూ షుడ్ సీ ఎదర్ ఏ గౌ మాత అట్ లీస్ట్ ఎ ఫిగరీన్ ఆఫ్ గౌ మాత ఫిగరీన్ ఈజ్ అ స్మాల్ స్టాచ్యూ పోర్ట్రేట్ ఆఫ్ రామ కృష్ణ or a conch shell hmm? uh, so what are you seeing are you seeing the face of some <laughs> dumb bollywood star filmy star or some rock star pop star you get a big zero okay next one uh, next question when was the last time you fed a cow did you ever go every week please go to some gochala and feed a cow in fact if possible every day you should feed a cow hmm? so when was the last time you fed a cow no zero keep noting all the questions ah next question what is the content of most of the conversations you have in your free time i permit you in your office time it will be all official only what is the content do you discuss mahabharata or do you discuss ramayana or do you talk about dharma uh, because ramayana and మహాభారత ఆర్ సఫిషియంట్ మహాభారత హౌ మెనీ శ్లోకాస్ ఆర్ దేర్ నో ఐడియా వన్ ల్యాక్ ట్వంటీ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ థౌజండ్ ఈజ్ ది హరివంశం విచ్ ఈజ్ ద ఎనెక్షా విచ్ ఈజ్ అబౌట్ కృష్ణ వన్ ల్యాక్ ఈజ్ ది శ్లోకాస్ ఐ హ్యావ్ ఐ హ్యావ్ ద ఒరిజినల్ రిటర్న్ బై ఎమ్ ఎన్ దత్ పరిమల్ పబ్లికేషన్స్ న్యూ ఢిల్లీ అండ్ కిసారి మోహన్ గంగూలీ i have got uh, his voluminous work kisari mohan ganguli m n dat i'll show you the books later so are your conversations are about are they about mahabharata ramayana krishna rama no you get a zero are you talking about movies and serials and my god god okay this is a question that might be repeating how do you celebrate your birthdays are you blowing out candles and spraying your saliva on the cake if you do that you get a zero okay so we'll pause now so next question when was the last time you visited a temple actually you should go to a temple every day since that is not possible i have created a temple at home <laughs> my ground floor i have bought figurines from every place i visited anyway at least once in a week please go to the temple if you are not going at least once in a week you get a zero okay next question how often do you wear a dhoti are you always wearing those pants and ties remember this coats that you wear in india uh, that is the dumbest thing we can actually do coats and ties and all those stuff that uh, dresses for london because in london i have been to london every 10 minutes the weather changes you can't wear a <laughs> dhoti there eh? mm. uh, you will freeze if you wear a dhoti there right <laughs> uh, does the englishman wear dhoti snow they they wear their coats because it is necessary to keep themselves warm why the hell are we that is why most people get gajji in telugu we call it gajji eczema kujli kujli slow lot of itch guard is available if you are wearing all those uh, materials those dresses those coats uh, those woolen coats uh, and there are many dumb bollywood actors who are promoting all this uh, so please don't get carried away so please wear a dhoti at least once in a week and sari for the girls okay uh, tone jeans and all that it's up to you you wear whatever you want okay now can you name the next question can you name 10 great saints of india i don't use the word saint because again it has got a christian flavor see these christian saints uh, uh, 
uh, are uh, actually uh, well i don't want to use any strong word but they are extremely dogmatic people hmm? they are keenly interested only in converting people and they were all participating in the inquisition goa goan inquisition took place lakhs and lakhs of hindus were tortured to death right if they don't convert they are tortured to death uh, francis xavier uh, i call him frantic xavier he was frantically converting hindus during the goan inquisition uh, uh, you should uh, watch uh, goan inquisition uh, video on youtube by this historian this lady what is the name shafali vaidya Shrimati Shafali Vaidya, she is a great historian. She is a Goan Hindu who survived. Her ancestors survived the Goan Inquisition. You will be shocked. Huh? And this fellow frantic Xavier, there was a great Hindu, Masur Karji Maharaj at that time, who was resisting, who fought against the Goans, these uh, Portuguese fellows, these rascals. Huh? And this Francis Xavier is now considered a saint. <laughs> he is a criminal of history. and many gullible hindus i too went there of course i did not bow and do namaste and all that because i already was aware of this history people hindus are going there it is a world heritage center i don't know how can you give it a world heritage center his mummy is lying there and sometime back they spread a superstition that his finger is moving <laughs> i don't know what the hell is going on so anyway let us leave it there so I think you noted the question. Can you name ten, ten, ten Hindu saints, not saints? A saint is totally dedicated uh, to the service of mankind. Uh, they are not interested in killing, converting people. Okay, so don't use the word saint. How many shlokas, Sanskrit shlokas, do you know? That is the next question. Uh, do you know at least uh, five? Please start learning, memorizing. you can choose from bhagavad gita itself and if you are interested i'll give you a list at least these are the 10 shlokas which you should learn i'll post it in the next video and the next question this is i think easy can you give uh, at least five reasons why you are proud to be a hindu five reasons why you are proud to be a hindu i think you should do well on this i'm going to give you 50 points for this because <laughs> you can make up for all the losses you had so far 50 points are available for this okay okay the next question is do you fast how often do you fast once in 15 days at least you should fast and there were many scientists who got autophagy you know they got the nobel prize for fasting fasting will prolong your life okay so don't ridicule people who are fasting too much fasting is also bad i normally don't believe in fasting eh? once in a while i have to do that once in 15 days or maybe once in a month because i believe that uh, i should be very energetic in order to work and uh, you know my work is rebooting hinduism okay then the last question for this track is can you blow a conch shell shankam if you can't you lose points so please if you are going to puri jagannath you can buy conch shells there that is the best place actually it is called shankatirtha so that is the best place to buy a conch shell please buy it's an excellent exercise for your lungs also so we will stop this track here now jai shri ram we will pick it up later